All right. So um, let's start with our uh, SQL project. And uh, by now, I believe that all of us are in the module three. For us to uh, get our download file for the uh, project Maji uh, in Dogo, you check on 1.10. Immediately, you click on it like this. When you click on it, it downloads the file automatically, as you can see over here. So let me go inside my um, downloads and see. Yes, this is it. This is the particular file we are looking at. So this is what you do. You extract the file because it is zipped. You have to extract the files from it. So the first option is to come down to this side where you have extract. And then... You decide where you want to put your ex uh, extracted files so you browse now when you get in here let's say you go to you just choose where you want it to be I want it to be inside my download uh, folder but in a separate folder that I will call uh, Maji in Dogo project Okay, so this is the folder I want it to be in. I select it, I choose select folder. Now I'm ready to extract. And here you are, it is beautifully extracted for me. So now I'm done, I'll close these windows or minimize them. Now I'm done here. Now let's go to our SQL workbench which is here so this is where we have our workbench you can see it here now like we all know we work with instructions so where do we have our instructions our instructions when you get to the excuse me when you get to i think the fifth uh, model or lesson five that's where you have your project so immediately you open you will see here the slides are there so once you click on it it should lead you to something like this you will see it all the way from the top here to the down but i'm zooming in straight to where the action will be uh, without wasting time so when you come here you will see that we are being asked to, let's read a little bit it say get to know your our data start by retrieving the first few records from each table how many tables are there in our database what are the names of these tables once uh, tables once you have identified the tables write a select statement to retrieve the first five records from each table as you uh, you look at the data take note of the columns and their respective data types in each table what information does each table contain okay so these are a few questions that you want to find out from the database that you are going to be using so let's do this together now there is a little bit of a uh, uh, a note here is say I don't think they showed you this at the Academy but when you access a new database in my SQL a handy initial query to run is show tables this will give you a list of all the tables in your database beautiful so let's go and then see what uh, we are being told and then we continue from there so first when you get into your workbench how do you get the data set or your database to work with so here you have a folder here choose this folder okay choose this folder and then you can go straight into it now when you come to 
remember you saved your files or your folder the one you extracted in this particular folder so here we are so this is the particular database we are going to be working with which is md underscore water underscore service so i'll click on it and then this um, file opens now when this file opens you can see that you can uh, see your uh, database here if even, even if you refresh you can see it okay now let's go there is some instruction in there which will be of help to us so you go down a little bit go down a little bit here you can see from here they say create table this that blah 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 all that is done for you and the command is here it closes over here so this is where you put your cursor and then you execute it and see so now there are two ways to execute one is when you are all that you have typed assuming that on all this uh, particular file the only command over there or over here is this particular statement you can use this but when you have a couple of commands written and you are not executing all of them at the same time you just use the uh, this one okay so let's go and see if uh, what i'm saying is correct before then here just right click and clear, clear the place so that when you are doing or performing a function you know whether it works or it doesn't when there are too many over there sometimes you don't know which one is uh, okay although the most recent one will be at the base okay so let's go and execute this well okay we have an error over here let me see why we have an error okay so let me use the first one okay so uh, this this command is actually isolated so once you click on the execute uh, uh, button it executes it beautifully for you and you can see a lot a lot a lot a lot of uh, commands have been executed here now when you go and refresh you should now see your database beautifully inserted over here for you okay so this is where we stop we we'll continue in the next video and then we we'll look at all the questions that have been asked and then we we'll see if we can get into it one after the other thank you